guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Hi guys, Sherry here. Welcome to my channel. Um, so this is a, a, a video on the different readings that I offer and the prices. Um, so thank you for subscribing. Uh, my channel um, features my cards mostly. So these are hand painted cards that I've created. I started the channel almost exactly a year ago. Um, so I was guided into um, the tarot realm through art uh, and also an understanding of you know um, physics and the metaphysical world so it was synchronicities that awakened me to you know this higher collective consciousness and so because of that because I was seeing the 1111 um, on the clock quite a bit um, it guided me to this whole twin flame journey, um, but it was art that um, first introduced me to it. So, you know, it's a long um, journey, a long story, uh, but the gist of it is that I um, have been able to create, you know, this way of communicating and tapping into that collective uh, through art and and I've met a lot of amazing awakened spirits um, on my journey and as a result of this um, tarot channel so I just want to say thank you to all of you who have supported me along the way and I am so grateful to be a part of it um, and yeah okay so uh, the first reading that I offer is a past, present, and future. So um, here we have the past, present, and future card, and then one card from the bottom of the deck, as well as one card as a message from the universe. Okay, so the next reading that I offer is called a Celtic Wing. Uh, so this is more of a general reading, um, but if you would like it to be focused on a twin flame connection, then you can definitely let me know. Um, so there are 11 main energy cards, um, one card from the bottom of the deck and one message from the universe. Uh, so the positions are present, foundation, recent past, um, what you hope for and likely to get, your crossroads or near future, what you're resisting, your internal environment, external environment. Um, uh, the outcome from these three cards so this is what you hope for and likely to get and this is what you will get um, then this is the summary outcome the final outcome and, and so like I said overall energy and I will read that message uh, from the universe okay so this is a twin flame reading uh, so there is 16 cards in total so there are five main energy cards for the feminine side, uh, five for the masculine, and three union cards as well as one card from the bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy, and two cards as message from the universe. And um, I may also pull additional clarifier cards as well. Okay, so this is an extended twin flame reading. Um, there are 52 cards in total um, with 36 clarifier cards. Uh, so for every position I pull three clarifier cards um, which represent the past, the present, and the future and how they relate to the main energy. Um, so there are five main energy cards for the feminine, five for the masculine with the three clarifiers per position. Okay, so here we have um, the feminine past position, same thing on the masculine, the feminine present, 
near future, final outcome, mirroring on the masculine side. What the feminine is bringing into the union, along with the clarifiers, same thing with the masculine side. When we get to the union energies, uh, these are shared energies between both aspects, so I will only pull two clarifiers per position. Uh, so this is the foundation, what the feminine is bringing in, what the masculine is bringing in, crowning energy, feminine, masculine, heart-centered, feminine, masculine. Then I pull, or then I also look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, and then I pull two cards as a message from the universe. Uh, so this extended version um, is quite lengthy. It uh, can take up to it over an hour, sometimes up to two hours, uh, depending on the messages that come in. So I may pull additional clarifiers on top of the 52 cards. So this is called the Yin Yang reading. Um, so there are 17 cards in total. There are six for the feminine, six for the masculine, two union energies and one card for the overall energy from the bottom of the deck. Also two cards as a message from the universe and I will most likely pull additional cards as clarifiers. Um, so in terms of the reading, this is how the feminine feels about herself, how she feels about the masculine, how she feels about the relationship or the union, what she fears what she would like and what will be and that's mirrored on the masculine side and so this would be the energy she's bringing into the union mirrored on the masculine and so the overall energy card would be for both the masculine and feminine uh, so this is um, one more card than the twin flame okay so this is the extended version of the yin yang uh, reading so there are 53 cards in total with 36 um, clarifier cards. Uh, so there are, again, um, six uh, cards for the feminine, six for the masculine, and three clarifiers per position, so the past, present, and future. There are two union energy cards, one card for the, uh, from the bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy, and then two cards as a message from the universe. So this is called a Divine Partnership Reading. Uh, there are 22 cards in total. So there are nine cards that represent the feminine, nine cards that represent the masculine, uh, two cards as um, from the bottom of the decks, which represent their overall energy, uh, two cards as a message from the universe. Okay, so let's go through the positions. Um, so this would be how the masculine views the relationship or the connection mirrored on the feminine. Um, what he's resisting, uh, his message from his higher self. Past position, present, future, message from the universe, external environment, and what he fears, and of course mirrored on the other side. And uh, I may pull additional clarifiers. Alright, so this is the extended Divine Partnership reading. So there are 76 cards in total, uh, 54 clarifiers, uh, which are the past, present, and future per position. So there are, again, nine uh, cards for the feminine, nine for the masculine, uh, three per position. There are two cards as overall energy from the bottom of both decks, and then one card each for message from the universe. So this is the final reading that I offer. Um, this is the crystal ball, so it is a, um, a snapshot of your current energies, what you're bringing in from the past and what you're moving into in the future. So it's a five by five grid. Um, there's a distant past, recent past, present, near future, final outcome. There are four cornerstone cards which represent the main energies of the reading and one center card, which is zero point message from the universe. So there is also a timeline that runs from past to future. So the timeline runs in this kind of manner. Um, but I do look at the energies as they crisscross. You know, I look at timelines moving in this direction in each row as well. 
Um, so this is one of my favorite readings. I also pull uh, one card as a message from the universe. I have two of them up there. 